on over here. Oh, whoa, that was close. Remember when we got our first baby albino alligator, Salt? She was absolutely so cute. I'm beyond excited right now. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of shaking. Oh my God, please let these things be good. Why is this not opening? Oh my gosh. I don't see what the big deal is. I'm gonna show you this one first, guys, because this one is crazy. Oh my, what? You gotta admit, that thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at this, guys, it's a jet black alligator. Oh my gosh. Doesn't seem to be bitey. Oh my God. Hey, oh. Doesn't seem to be bitey. Ah! Be careful, dude. What are you doing? What the? <laughs> you hold this, you hold this. It's not gonna bite me? It's not gonna bite you. Listen. Oh my gosh, guys, an albino alligator. This is cool. <laughs> and then just a couple months ago, we got our second baby albino alligator. I forgot how cute they actually were when they were this size. Guys, FedEx is here. FedEx is here. FedEx is here? Yeah, I just delivered. <sighs> here it is, the box I've been waiting for. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I saw it through the window and I had to run all the way over here. This is it. Oh my gosh, they're here. I'm so excited. And it's been a few years since we've been at this spot. I was so excited last night, I could barely sleep. You excited last night? I think you said, Alligators aren't my thing. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I forgot how much pattern they have on them. They changed so much. Salt was like this? Yeah. yeah salt was just like really? this. Really? Oh my gosh. Look at this one here. It's got even more pattern. Look at it. It's got his little mouth open. Why did we get two of them, you might ask? Why? Did you get two of them, I yeah. might ask? Why, Why did you two? get two of them? Well, the truth is, I'm only keeping one of them. Hold it, Mom. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. There's well, a smile well, by well, Helen. We originally set this little girl up in this enclosure here, which is where salt was when she was a baby ironically enough and the thing is is that she was so small only maybe a month old she was really fragile and i was very concerned about her she was eating live rosies or little tiny fish in here but we never really seen her eat we throw 20 in and there'd be some gone but she continued to stay a little bit thin which was concerning so we decided to set her up in the back just like we did salt and pepper when they were babies so we ended up doing a really simple setup here in the back it's off all the hustle and bustle of people walking around she's back here by herself she's not seeing people it was literally just a 10 gallon aquarium with some heated water with a basking light Filtration, an area for her to climb on. We wanted to keep this as sterile as possible. Then we could really keep track of what was going on with our new baby albino. We need her to get really established. Then we can start taking her out. The whole idea of getting another baby albino was the fact that salt has just gotten so big it's hard to take her out. She slammed me out right on my butt. So we want people to be able to see this little baby, but we want her to really thrive. So we set this enclosure up. The thing is, she was still eating live fish up until yesterday. Yesterday, she started taking pellets and actually even some chicken off a of tongue. So she went from eating only live fish where we're still pretty stressed out They're finally eating what do you say we try to feed her right now and as you can see now she's doing so well she's eating on her own really well again she was really picky and only eat live fish but now she's eating gator pellets these are actually a missouri diet that's made specifically for crocodilians and that is amazing that's going to put a tremendous amount of size on her and just really get her going big you can see she's just munching it down right now it's amazing she'll now eat like six or eight of these at a time which is just incredible i mean it's going to be so crazy to see her grow i love seeing that she she looks even fatter. Only eaten in the last couple days like this. It's incredible. I tell you, I'm never more afraid than when I get baby albino alligators for whatever reason. When I had salt, it was the same way. I was so nervous about her because they look so frail and fragile. It's so awesome once they start crushing food because now she's going to get big. And pretty soon here within the next probably two or four weeks, now that she's feeding really well, we can start taking her out during open hours and letting people hold her because I wanted to get her past that stress and actually get her feeding really well before we actually start introducing her to people. Now we can start doing that yeah, shortly. Sure. So over the next month, we're definitely going to transition to her to live full time in this enclosure. The thing is, is once she gets back in this enclosure, we're going to have to make sure that she feeds really well. And if she starts to feed really well in this enclosure, then we can start keeping her full time in this enclosure. Probably take us a month or so to do the complete transition, which will be really cool. Look at how adorable that animal is. I absolutely love it. I remember when Salty was this big. Speaking of Salty and this girl, we still didn't have a name for her. Well, you guys gave us so many different great ideas, but I didn't have the right one until I actually had a comment from somebody. I really liked the name. And I looked into it and I liked it even more. And the name was actually Freya. Freya is actually a predominant goddess in the Norse mythology, basically meaning lady, also the goddess of love. And in some cases, it's actually even known as ice goddess. So I think Freya is just the perfect name for this little monkey here. You can see how chubby she is now. Now that she's eating pellets and will feed her chicken, she's really gonna start growing. Now I'm not as stressed out as I was before. Guys, I wanna officially introduce you to Freya. Freya. Of course, salt and pepper are getting huge. They need a much bigger environment. And that's kind of the whole 
whole reason that we thought about expanding in the first part is that some of our animals were getting big and we're like, what are we gonna do? Obviously salt and pepper can't stay in this enclosure for that much longer. We thought we have to expand. That ultimately started the whole thought of what we're gonna do and now of course the whole aquarium but thing. But salt is absolutely amazing. And she'll stay with me for her entire life. So the enclosure we're gonna build is gonna be absolutely huge so she can grow forever. Exactly when it comes to Freya, the idea is, is that we would actually be able to keep her as long as kids could hold her. So probably about two years she gets too big where kids can no longer hold her. Salty three and a half years old now and she's just too big. There's no way kids can hold her because she's heavy and she's just a big animal. The idea is after a couple years when Freya started to get too big, we probably trade her back and do a baby again and continue on the process like that. The truth is guys, I'm gonna probably fall in love with Freya and the chances are two years from now when she's ready to go back, I'm probably gonna say, I'll keep her as well and maybe she'll spend her life with salt. We'll have to see what happens. In theory, I probably would only keep her for a couple years but you guys know me, I'm gonna fall so in love with her. I don't think there's any chance that that's gonna happen. Well, I have Salty out, what do you say we feed her? Up, up, up. Good girl, Salty. Salty, up. Oh. There you go, girl. There you go. Whew. Tell you what, she's definitely getting some size to her. I definitely don't wanna get bit by an animal this size. But what we're hoping to do is get her to, to be like, the idea is to get her to actually station up like this. Nope, not the camera. Come on over here. Oh, whoa, that was close. Back it up, back it up. Up here. Whoa. Whoa. Back it up, Salty. Salty up. Good girl. One last piece. Up, oh, not the camera. Salty up. Good girl. She is so freaking awesome. Come on, don't be lazy. Of course, our alligators back here, you know that we have a deal with Gatorland that we actually bring them back after about a year. So we get babies, they go into here, they stay for about a year, and then we actually take them back. And don't get me wrong, we actually fall in love with these guys as well. I mean, you know, we work with them for a whole year. We kind of get to know them. We get to know their personalities, the way that they interact with people, and they're really a ton of fun. And every year that we take it back, I think this will be our third rotation that we're actually, whoa, come on, Sally, come on up here. Come on up here. Oh, this will be the third time we've taken them back, and I'll be honest, every Every time that that happens, we absolutely are completely sad. But the truth is, there's just no way that we could keep six or eight normal alligators for their whole life. I mean, it's just not possible, right? It's also really nice that these alligators get to go down to Gatorland after they've been here for a year and they're really well trained, obviously. Come up and listen to clickers and all kinds of stuff. That like it's kind of cool that they get to go down to Gatorland and then Gatorland is able to keep them for their entire life, which is super cool. Come on over here, bud. Do I piece? There you go. But listen, here just in about a month and a half, we're taking these guys back to Gatorland. There's no doubt that it'll be a sad day. And we have to always consider that all our animals need larger enclosures as they grow. Take for instance Hiccup, no blind albino monitor. There you go Hiccup, you're so beautiful. Now this is actually from a place called Salawasi Calabensis, which is a little bit smaller monitor. But right now he's in a four foot by four foot by four foot enclosure. And don't get me wrong, it's a pretty big enclosure for a Hiccup here, but it's gonna get bigger. Not as big as Elvis, these guys usually max out at about four foot, not six foot, but still it's probably gonna need at least a six foot or maybe even an eight foot enclosure as it gets bigger. So we have to continue to think about that with the expansion. Or or whatever the case is. As we're moving some animals over to the expansion, maybe Hiccup goes into one of the enclosures here or maybe Hiccup comes across the street. We're not 100% sure yet, but I absolutely love all my monitors. And monitors do need a lot of room. That's the only problem with monitors is that they do need a lot of space because they get big and they love to roam around and stuff like that. But look at Hiccup. I mean, is that freaking incredible or what? I tell you what, it's like a little dinosaur. And I love the fact that the, these dwarf ones from Salawasi have a little bit different head structure. And again, they don't get quite as big. And it makes it cool for someone that might want to get a monitor but can't have a six foot monitor getting one of these ones is really a lot better because they only get about four foot which is really cool but i think that he had a good little meal too i am really looking forward to seeing what the next months and years are when it comes to freya you got to remember i haven't been messing with her at all up until now because i've really wanted to let the stress be as least as possible so we haven't been handling her i've been taking her out or anything now that she's eating really well i can start to mess with her and you can see one of the things she does that salt never did is when i take her out she'll always open that mouth just a little bit i've got to teach her to keep that mouth shut we don't want anyone getting bit but she's not an aggressive animal at all. She just keeps that mouth open, which is just absolutely adorable. I have already fallen in love with this animal, and now that I can actually handle her on an everyday basis, it's gonna be amazing to figure out her personality and really work on the training, much like we did with Salt. The future is gonna be awesome with this little girl, and that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, come on over here. Oh, whoa, that was close.